Boxing Opinions 100, hit that subscribe button. Uh, should Malik Scott be training fighters or should he be training Deontay Wilder? Uh, Malik Scott has always seemed to be in the background of Deontay Wilder's fights. So people think Malik Scott just came on the scene. Malik Scott's always been around. But as such a poor fighter, I'm wondering, is this the guy that you should be taking advice from? Or does it matter, can someone be a uh, not so good of a fighter and a good trainer? Uh, has that been proven? Uh, some trainers, such as like Buddy McGirt, so it's like Buddy McGirt is telling you what he can do. Roy Jones is telling you <coughs> what he can do. But we've had trainers that weren't boxers uh, that could still train you. You know, like uh, Angelo Dundee or someone, someone of, of that effect. But I'm wondering if Deontay Wilder should be listening to Malik Scott because Tyson Fury made a good point of how can uh, one teach what they can't do. So if you think he could still be taught uh, as a trainer and not be a good boxer, I would like to know your opinion on that. Leave that down in the comments for me. So I just I was watching some tape of Malik Scott and, and it was like Malik Scott was almost taking dives. Uh, he had no uh, heart as far as uh, when it came to rising in competition. He, he might have fought someone that he almost knew he could beat up, you know, because he did have a, a winning record at first. But leave your comments down at the bottom of do you think uh, Deontay Wilder should be listening and taking advice from Malik Scott. Boxing Opinions 100, and y'all have a nice day out there.